just so you know, listeners and viewers understand this, mm-hmm. and you can um, comment on this, is just because you have insurance and you have coverage doesn't right. mean you can access care, right? That's exactly right. That's that's probably the biggest misnomer. Probably that most people, the, the most consumers of healthcare don't they don't connect the dots there, and and it's changing. Uh, the consumers are starting to get it, but you know it's slow. And you're you're absolutely correct. I mean, you know, we've all run into it every single day. We'll say, well, I've got I've got you know Primera Blue Cross, or I've got United Healthcare, or I've got whoever I've got. Uh, and I said, well, that's great. How long did it take you to get to see your primary care? Or how long do you even have primary care? Uh, oh, I just go to urgent care. Well, <laughs> yeah, sure. I've had that conversation at least a hundred times just in the last yeah. couple of years. Or do you um, even need a choice as to who you would like to see? Right. Yeah. And are you? Right. And, and let's forget the quality issue for a minute. Um, you know, so the average we've surveyed probably about a, about four or five hundred people over the last couple of years in the area, and they said the average time it's taking them to get an appointment to see their primary care doctor is three months. Those are established I, patients. I, I will say this though. Craig, um, okay, for established patients, maybe I've heard six months in I've heard that too. They, yeah. and and new patient, it's either non-existent or oh, it's yeah. like 